after having six years of TIG welding experience, thousands of hours under the hood, fabricating stuff almost my entire life. After having done four manifolds for these engines, all in different configurations, only to come to what I considered my opus, my final symphony. You managed to make a better manifold than me on your first try, and you didn't even have access to an engine. Where do you get off? In all seriousness, guys, I'm very happy to say that aftermarket turbo manifolds are finally here. What we have here on the right represents my best attempt at building a turbo manifold for a Vortec 4200. I use Schedule 40 bends and uh, straight pipes to build this thing along with a uh, precast um, T4 manifold. What we have here on the left though, this represents the newest hotness in 4200 turbo manifolds. This is the Artec Performance Vortec 4200 T4 manifold that is releasing to you guys very shortly. So today I'm gonna to go over the uh, benefits of something like this and show you guys how awesome this thing is. So let's start off with the overall construction. The Artec manifold is cast out of stainless steel. Because it is some sort of investment cast, it has an excellent finish. And being that it is a cast design, you can do radiuses and geometry that simply aren't possible with cast pieces like what the manifold that I made is made out of. You will notice right off the bat that the Artec manifold has longer runners on all of the runners. The Artec manifold is much closer to an equal length setup and therefore it will probably have better scavenging and a better sound. Next, let's talk about the wastegates. On my manifold, I wanted a true divided setup, so I went with these twin wastegates and this adds complexity and uh, more failure points it doubles the possibility of failure. You could have a wastegate that blew a line off. You could have a diaphragm that blows out. Something could get stuck in the wastegate. And just having two wastegates just makes that whole scenario a whole lot more possible. Also, the packaging of a dual wastegate setup is much worse. Um, that's a lot more junk you gotta work around. The Artec manifold, on the other hand, is set up for a single wastegate. But you might ask, what about the uh, true divided part of it? Well, they did what I didn't know was actually possible, and they built a divider down the wastegate tube. This way, the two halves of the engine stay totally divided from one another, which will improve uh, the spool of your turbo. And it has the benefits of a single gate system, which is easier to plumb, easier to maintain, and a lot easier to work around. The new Artec manifold is set up for a turbo smart 50 millimeter wastegate, but it can also fit other 50 millimeter wastegates. Also, the wastegate tube is set up so that, say you were to run into a wastegate flow problem, the internal diameter of the tube, it, it actually tapers down at the end, so that if you needed to go to a 60 millimeter wastegate, it is totally possible to do that. Next, let's talk about chassis fitment. And for that, we're gonna go to my Fairmont. All right, to talk about chassis fitment, I thought it would be best to show you the manifold on a chassis. So I thought it would be great to start with probably one of the more common chassis out there and definitely the one that I recommend the most as to uh, put a 4200 into. And that is a Fox Body Ford platform. The Fox Body is already set up for an inline six, so these things fit into it naturally. But one of the challenges to them are the engine bay is a little bit on the narrow side. 
And therefore, having a compact manifold like the one that Artec just came out with is ideal. This gets the turbo about as close to the head as you possibly can, and it will probably fit the largest frame turbo uh, that really would make sense for an engine of this size. With my fabricated manifold, I had nothing but struggle with uh, working on this car just because there wasn't a ton of room, especially with the dual wastegate setup. The turbine was very close to this shock tower here, and the dual wastegate setup made it just impossible to mess with any of my vacuum lines down there or uh, anything that might be down in that region. Uh, that I may need to maintain or, uh, uh, you know, work with. So next I'm going to throw a turbo in here and show you some of the other benefits of the Artec manifold. You'll notice that all the tubes in the front on the manifold are sort of tucked in a little closer to the engine. And also you'll notice that the turbo has a slight angle outwards in the front. This is to one, give you room for the discharge of your turbo, and two, to give you room for the oil drain out of the turbo. Also, you're gonna notice that there are heaps of room between the uh, turbine housing and my shock tower now. With the single wastegate setup, I will have plenty of room to work, and also there is plenty of room for the downpipe to make its way down uh, and out of the car. It is so nice to work with people who have lots of experience with uh, turbo manifolds and you can tell that every aspect of this turbo manifold is well thought out and just top level quality. Without a doubt, you get what you pay for. Now, Artec made their best attempt to make this as a compact of a package as possible and that was in order to make it fit as many chassis as possible. However, you can't win them all. Um, there's always going to be that one chassis that has super narrow frame rails that this thing isn't going to fit on and the Volvo is one of those exceptions. It's not really that big of a deal. All we have to do is rework the wastegate tube a little bit and it generally fits this thing actually very well uh, considering <laughs> how narrow this chassis is. All right, another thing that we need to discuss is early versus late 4200. The early cylinder head on the 02 to 05 engines had a smaller exhaust port, whereas the later 06 and later had a larger exhaust port. The Artec manifold is set up to fit the uh, larger exhaust port. Actually, it's a little bit oversized so that if you want to port out your 06 head, it will be good to go. The bolt patterns on the early versus late head are exactly the same. So it will bolt up to the early head or the late head. Either way, you're good to go. Will it fit my Trailblazer chassis? Yep. Will it fit my Fox body? Yep. In general, if the 4200 fits the chassis, the manifold's probably gonna fit the chassis too. Um. Can, do you mind if I ask you a question? Let's probably just let's get it over with so we can move on. Do you think this would fit a Honda? I think it would. They would both fit in the skip bin. <laughs> Alright guys, I got one more thing to throw at you and that is that I have about 40 hours into this manifold. If you were to pay me to make this manifold and we look up the average rates for a typical uh, custom fab shop, this is gonna be a very expensive manifold to make. So the fact that the Artec manifold comes in a heck of a lot cheaper than that, it's worth every penny. Overall, I'm extremely impressed with the Artec Performance Turbo Manifold, and I gotta say, they knocked it out of the park. As with any of their manifolds, their goal is to provide a OEM Plus quality manifold, and I have to say, this is way nicer than anything I've ever seen on a OEM vehicle. This thing is a work of art. It is great to see that uh, a manufacturer is investing this level of uh, time and effort into this platform. 
And I think it is a sign of things to come. Now at this time, the Artec Manifold is not available on their website quite yet, but as soon as it is, I will update the description of this video with a link to that. So check down there, but it might not be there quite yet. So um, if it isn't, make sure you come back and look for it. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing bolted on to a couple different chassis and we're going to show what this thing's capable of. So leave a comment down below of what you think of this new manifold. I think this is a total game changer and I'm happy to be a part of it. With that, make sure that you like, subscribe, leave a comment, ring the bell, hit the join button, maybe buy a t-shirt and we'll see you in the next one.